Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Not so Blue, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do some cool transitions on v VLLO. I have a lot of videos about VLLO. Actually, I have like three, but that's a lot, okay? Um, so um, go check those videos out. One of them is kind of dated, so it might not help because it's a how to use VLLO except um, that was from a while ago and there's been so many updates um, it's completely different from what it was so I might make another one of those how to use VLLO videos in the future probably soon so be ready for that if you you're not sure how to use this app there are a lot of videos out there about how to use it if you really want to see one from me, then go ahead and subscribe, like the video, comment down below. But yeah, in my other video that got a lot of recognition, surprisingly, um, is about how to do a shake effect. And if you want to learn how to do that, then go ahead and check that out. Um, but anyways, let's actually get into this video. I always have very long introductions, so I'm very sorry about that. I just want to get everything out. Um, but uh, we're just going to press create video. We're going to press insert blank scene and then you can um, fill all this out however you'd like your video to look. I'm going to be doing like a transition for popping up images kinda. I'm not sure how to explain it, but um, so we're gonna press PIP, which I think is picture in picture. If that is a mistake, please tell me. <laughs> we're going to press the image thing right here on the left and then pick a picture from your camera roll that you would like to pop up on the screen. Don't even mind this picture. We're going to stay on this page where the picture is selected. And to just get out of this, you would just press done. Go to about like, whenever you want your transition to end. So say I want it here. And we're gonna press partial setting. Uh, and then we're going back to the beginning. I'm going to show you the first transition that I'm going to demonstrate. So basically, whenever you wanted to end, which is the thing we have right here, uh, just take it however big you want it and where you want it. And we're gonna go back to the start. So we're gonna size this down. You can you can use your two fingers and or you could just use this little button right here on the bottom right. And we're going to shrink that and then we're going to grab the little circle arrow button thing i don't know slider we're going to take that and then just um rotate it a few times depending on how many times you want it to rotate and then we're going to play it this is what it looks like it looks pretty cool and there you go there is the spin transition so we're going to get rid of the partial setting put it up again um, we're gonna take slider to about the middle and we're just gonna fix this here now we are going to do a fade in transition so we're gonna bring it back to normal and slide to the beginning once again and all we have to do we don't have to work on any of the movement of this unless you want to uh, we're gonna go down to the opacity or opacity however you say it um, and we're gonna scroll down to zero so this is going to make it fade in. It's good for just simple videos. About the previous transition I just showed you, uh, that is basically just a free version of doing this. So um, you have to pay to be able to add this transition in without doing it from scratch with, by yourself. I would rather just do it myself than pay. And one more thing, if you just do not want to do this by yourself, you can always go to the animations, like I said. And the thing is, there's only three free transitions. Um, and they're kind of crappy. I'm not saying anything against VLLO. I know they want to make money. Um, <laughs> but uh, there's just so many free ways of doing this uh, stuff. As you can see, the zoom in is not what most people would like for a zoom in. For me, it is not what I prefer. Maybe you guys like it. I mean, it's not... It's not a big deal. See, it, it fades in and zooms in, and it's kind of, I it's not my favorite. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a better zoom in. And you can basically do this with the normal background clip if you want to. And click on the clip that we're going to edit, and we're going to press 
partial setting about the middle as usual. Uh, go to the beginning, scale it all the way down. So that's an easy way of doing it. You can also scale this down even more. I'm gonna do that. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the slide in transitions. They're pretty simple. You gotta turn on the partial setting, move to the, about the middle. If you want it to be fast, then you can move to about right here. Uh, and we're gonna go to the beginning, press on this button in the top right corner. Um, and that will take you to like a position um, guide, kinda. It helps a lot. Pretty much, you're just gonna slide all the way, whichever direction you would rather um, slide it in from. That's literally it. If you if you want it to slide out at the end too, all you have to do is click here and then here, go to the same place, opposite direction, and boom, you have a slide in, slide out transition. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory to do the slide out because it's just the opposite of what you just did. And you can also do the top to bottom, bottom to top slide in, uh, just do the same thing except in different directions. And you can also do um, diagonal if you really want. And yeah, there's a lot of different ways to do it. So you might be wondering how to do um, transitions on like these clips right here, backbone of the video. And I will show you real quick. It's pretty easy to do it. So you might already know, but if you don't know and you haven't used the app as much, I'm going to be showing you. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the picture in picture image and I'm gonna get some new pictures. I'm gonna get some new images uh, to use the transitions on. So I'm using some low quality images. So I'm using the VLLO um, logo and the Roblox logo. Two of the thing, two of the main things on my channel, honestly. Um, so what we're gonna do, press this square button and we're gonna go over here to the free stuff. <laughs> uh, honestly, I would buy this these transitions. They're, they're pretty cool. Like, look at that. Wouldn't you want that? That's pretty high quality. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna use the free ones. We have 11 options, I'm pretty sure. One, including the none option if you really want nothing. Um, but yeah, so, so you can use these uh, options right here. I, I like them, but of course, they're in the free version. They're not the best thing ever. We can also do DIY stuff on here. Honestly, pretty much the same thing as the picture-in-picture -picture thing I just did. I'm just gonna be doing a slide-in transition. So, of course, the presets are um, a lot easier than doing that. And it, this doesn't even look good, honestly. As you can see, not the best thing ever, um, but... I'll try to like make it a little better so and still that is not very good in my opinion but you can always do this um, if you want just like videos you re you don't really care about <laughs> honestly would not like suggest it because um, mine don't look very good but if you got some practice in it probably could be really good um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope this helped you I've gotten a lot of questions on VLO so I might just do a video um about the questions you guys asked because i do want to help you but some of these questions are just very hard to answer typing and i can't send you guys videos um just for you so i'll have to make a video answering your questions about this app and i have so many plans to uh, make more tutorials so um go ahead like subscribe comment on maybe video ideas and if you want to see more of this and you know what i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed goodbye